Hey, Clear Lake peeps, Ross Engel with Clear Lake Guide Service with your fishing, well, let's just call it Lake Report for June 9th, 2022 for Clear Lake. Uh, sorry, I'm coming to you out of the garage. Just been a busy couple of days and by the time we got home, did everything we needed to do today. We had a slight mishap with the boat trailer this morning. We'll call it a senior moment. Maybe I'll talk about it later. <laughs> but anyway, it was minor, but let's suffice it to say, while the wife put the per first scratch in the boat, I put the first mm, scratch in the boat trailer. So, okay, here we go. Conditions, we'll talk about launch ramps first, no changes. Um, I do know two incidents since the last time that we posted a video of uh, issues at the county park so it's getting close still usable um can just tell you that i'm not launching there anymore for what that's worth lakeport at fifth street is still you know i four and a half five paces from where my rear axle tire is in the water to where the line is which shows the end of the ramp so lakeport is still good and it's going to be for a while probably off the top of my head i'm just guessing but probably through august um they'll probably close off third street sometime next month but that's just a guess so same launch ramps that have been closed are still closed and will be closed until this winter. Those are the State Park, Lucerne Harbor, Keeling Park. That's the situation down there. I've had a few people notify me that they've had issues down at Redbud. Not so much on the ramp itself, but getting out into the lake over the little high spots that are out there. So it just goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. When you're launching, be careful. So water level, we're looking at um, minus 0.2. Even though we ended up with about a half an inch of rain this past weekend, it didn't affect the lake level at all. All the rain that fell around the lake, around the shoreline, sucked in, none of it ran off. And typically what happens when you get a rainstorm up here, you just don't get that much rain that falls on the lake itself. So even though we got it up to a half an inch, maybe more in some of the areas around the lake, it didn't fall in the lake. So you see no positive change. The lake actually dropped um, one tenth of it. Yeah, one tenth of an inch, which is an inch over this past week. Uh, water clarity remains the same. I mean, it's all over the board. I saw a lot less dirty water down towards monitor this past week uh, i got around a little bit more there was there was actually kind of a substantial amount of algae that was starting to build up down in that direction and before i go any further yeah there's a lot of algae built up down in in the clear lake oaks arm uh, and the red bud arm down in the very bottoms of both of those. That's typical for this time of year. It's not going to change. It's going to stay that way. It'll be that way all the summer. Um, you know, uh, there's just areas in the mid portion of the lake that just cleaned up pretty doggone well this week. So I, you know, we had areas that we could see almost five feet. I'm going to say that we could tell that there was bottom at five feet five feet but we really couldn't tell what was on bottom and then you go in, over into other areas uh, the north shore of the lake as an example Nice and Lucerne most of what I saw over there was um, stained water from the carp being active in the weed beds um, there were some areas that um, like over by Soda Bay between Soda Bay and Horseshoe between Soda Bay and Henderson there were areas that, you know, you could you could see four and a half, five feet. You could see rocks down there. But then there was a lot of um, green algae and slime and snot that was growing down there that 
you really couldn't see clearly what was in between the rocks. You could just tell, you could see the tops of the rocks. Um, some of the areas in Lake Port, you know, we could see three feet, four feet. Some of it just depends on if you're in front of the weed beds, in the weed beds, or behind the weed beds, because the clarity changes in all three of those locations. So that's kind of the kind of the ballpark. I'm going to say average around the lake is probably three feet. I'm sure there's areas where you can see more, and I'm sure there's areas you can see less. So that's water clarity. Uh, we covered level clarity, water temperature. Um, since the last report, it was starting out in the high 60s, 67, 68, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, as of today, which is Wednesday, it started out at 69 in Lakeport, and we saw a high of 73, 73 and a half, somewhere in that range. So, and that's kind of running over most of the upper end of the lake. So it's kind of a good handle that way. It's probably warmer in some other areas down, you know, in the lower ends of the lake. Um, and it's maybe even a little bit cooler in some spots, but general rule, that's what I saw. Overall, for this time of year, the water conditions actually look pretty favorable. So weeds are popping up. Um, you know, you, you see areas where now there's good enough matting going on to where there's guys catching some frogfish. Um, some of the areas, the little bays and whatnot that have enough floating stuff on them. You're, you'll either see fr um, fish blowing up, eating bait, or you'll see carp splashing. So it's one of the two, but um, there's enough of that floating stuff around now to, to where you can catch fish on mats. So I think that's pretty much it for the conditions. Activities for this coming week. You've got Thursday and Friday this week is a BASS Federation a state event of some type. I think they must be going out of 5th Street because there's been quite a few boats in the 5th Street and 3rd Street parking lot this week. That is going to kick off Thursday, I believe, is the first day, and then Friday. It's a two-day, and then there's a permit pulled for two days for the 11th and 12th but the, by ABA, but the only thing that I can really see there is a specialty tournament that may run on the 11th. I think it's a 30 boat field or something like that if they get enough boats. Um, I, it's not a normal ABA tournament, so that's scheduled to go th Saturday, but I don't know if they're actually going to get the boats to do it or not. So. Be prepared, 5th Street, Lakeport, Thursday, Friday, two tournament days going on. And the parking lots have been full, pretty much full the last couple mornings. And then uh, possibly Saturday, another big event. And then, not a big event, but another organized event. And then the following weekend, uh, is the first weekend in a long time, I don't see anything scheduled. So, looks like a freebie weekend. So there's your conditions, activities, Let's talk about fishing a little bit. Almost everybody who's out fishing is talking about putting in pretty good numbers of fish between uh, guys who are, you know, have been dying all year to be able to throw a frog, catching frog fish, or let me rephrase that to say county frog blowups. Um, we've, we actually this week, or since the last report, you know, we've caught fish sight fishing in bedding areas, which by far is probably the easiest fishing if you can find it. And that's just a matter of moving around and finding clear water. Um, the topwater bite started off real slow last week, but picked up during the course of this week. We had a pretty good day on that today. Um, what else? Ah, you know, it, you guys know me. If there's if if we can find fish, if we can see fish, we can catch them on finesse tactics, and that's what we've been doing. Haven't had any big fish. Our big fish since the last report was uh, five and a half pounds. 
we've probably had a couple of 19 pound limits. Just a lot of really good solid two and three quarter to three and a quarter pound fish. The fish are in really good condition, the ones that we're seeing. We're just not seeing very many fish. I think we've seen one fish maybe in the last week that I would put at plus seven pounds. Um, I'm just not seeing any of the better fish. So, and I'm not hearing about anybody catching them either. So we'll see, maybe this weekend turns up another set of numbers, but that's pretty much it. Uh, crappie, we're seeing a few crappie around the lake. Uh, in fact, actually, <laughs> We were throwing some small swim baits down in the mid portion of the lake last week, late last week, and uh, we ended up catching three crappie out in 20 to 22 feet of water, uh, fishing for bass with a small swim bait. So um, who knows what the heck they're doing? I've seen I'm seeing fewer and fewer of them on beds. We're also seeing fewer and fewer red ears and bluegill. In fact, overall, I'm not seeing a whole lot of bluegill anywhere that I've really traveled around the lake. So, um, you know, I, I think that's pretty much it. Those of you who are interested in the guide service, I'll probably post another video midweek just explaining that uh, Monday next week is my last guiding for the next couple months. Debbie and I are going to take off for the summer, so... I'm going to see what that's like. I'm going to see what it's like not working when it's 105 degrees. So we'll uh, update you on that probably maybe even this weekend. I'll shoot a video and talk about that a little bit. So anyway, thanks for all the comments. I appreciate it. I hope I've been helpful to some of you. Don't know what's going to happen the next couple months, but uh, we got one more day, one, uh, actually two more days of guiding and we're going to take a break. So, but We'll have a, some information posted for you next Thursday, our regular fishing report. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you next week.